What's up guys? Today's video is on the best PC controllers. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers, so whether it's price performance or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the comments box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. At number 5. Razer Wolverine Ultimate, the best mechanical switch controller. Razer's Wolverine Ultimate could very well be the best gamepad available today, save for one critical disqualifying factor, it can't connect to a PC wirelessly. The Xbox-style gamepad offers many of the same luxury features as the Xbox One Elite wireless controller, like a swappable D-pad and customizable back paddles. It's also nearly the same price, which begs the question, why not just buy one of those instead? Well, it's not for everyone, but the Wolverine Ultimate does have its fair share of unique, downright enticing features. For starters, the face buttons the ones labeled A, B, X, and Y click like mouse buttons. This seemingly minuscule detail makes a world of difference. It's like using nothing but membrane keyboards your whole life and then making a move to mechanical switches. So while the enclosed 10-foot braided micro-USB cable takes some getting used to, tactile button presses are a worthy trade-off. Of course, no Razer product would be complete without a healthy dose of Chroma, the three-headed green snake company's signature brand of RGB lighting. However, rather than integrating it into the existing Synapse 3 app for Windows, Razer decided to develop an app specifically for Xbox One. So if you do plan on using this controller for your PC, bear in mind you'll need a separate app to configure it. At number 4. Scuf Instinct Pro, the best customizable controller. Scuf doesn't mess around with its controllers, offering some of the best premium pads outside of Sony and Microsoft. And the Instinct Pro is the absolute best Microsoft Focus Pad controller should you wish to eschew the too big bois of the console world. But when the Elite Series 2 exists in the world, how does anyone else compete in the enthusiast controller space? There are more customization options on offer with the Instinct Pro than with pretty much any other pad you could name. Scuf is offering a huge variety of different cosmetic and physical customization options from the initial store page. The faceblade options, and the rings around the thumbsticks, are the most obvious, but you also get to pick your choice of actual thumbsticks in terms of length and topper, convex or concave. There are also options to change the D-pad, button facades, as well as the styling of both the bumpers and the triggers. Interestingly, there is also the option to remove the rumble motors from inside the controller which is something you'll often find the pros end up removing from their tournament controllers, to cut down on the inherent distraction of hand wobble. At number 3. Poweray Spectra Infinity Enhanced, the best budget wired controller. Poweray's Spectra Infinity Enhanced wired controller is a step up over the Spectra Enhanced we used to rate in this guide. The latest version has more similarities to the Xbox Series 10 Vertical Bar S controller, not too surprising since the Spectra is an official Xbox licensed product, though it has notably more bright lights. It's a pretty swanky controller nowadays, considering its budget price. I compared the Spectra and an official Xbox One controller while playing all the usual suspects like Call of Duty, Warzone and Mortal Kombat 11, and found that the joysticks are almost the same amount of tension and even the face buttons had similar feel when you press down on them. The button layout is nearly identical to an Xbox One controller, even down to the same texturized rubber on the joysticks, and the two extra programmable buttons in the back of the controller are well placed right around the grip. They're reachable via your ring fingers, so you don't have to change your grip when playing. The three-way trigger locks are great for competitive shooters, but although it's a nice feature, they didn't feel all that different regardless of where you set the lock, unlike the Series 2. At number 2. Xbox Core Wireless Controller, the best budget wireless controller. The original Xbox One wireless controller was a staple for PC gaming. With the Xbox Series S X release, we were all curious to see how Xbox improved on an already killer gamepad. This controller retains a lot of what we loved about the original. Keeping it very comfortable overall design with texturized rubber grips makes you feel extremely great in your hands. Much like the original, it boasts a vastly superior D-pad that you won't dread using in fighting games and platformers, taking cues from the Xbox One Elite Series controllers. 
You might have noticed a new button in the center of the controller, a much requested share button now lets you capture screenshots and gameplay footage without diving too much into the menus. But, honestly, that's of minor import when it comes to PC gaming. At number 1. Xbox Elite Wireless Controller Series 2, the best PC controller. If you use the Microsoft Elite Series 2 controller for more than 10 minutes, you'll understand why we have it at the number 1 spot. Everything about the Series 2 screams luxury. The near-endless customization options give you an unparalleled level of control, pun intended, over your gameplay. Being able to tweak all aspects of the controller, like D-pads, shift paddles, and joystick tension, is an absolute godsend. The most significant changes in the Series 2 over the Series 1, which we also loved, include a neat little carrying case that doubles as a portable USB Type-C powered charging station for the controller's new rechargeable battery, which has around 40 hours of juice. Finally, with Projects Cloud and Apple Arcade bringing some great games to mobile devices, you can easily pair the Series 2 controller via Bluetooth. It comes with a bunch of custom bits, six thumbsticks, two D-pads, cross-shaped and faceted, four rear pedals and one tool for adjustable thumbstick tension. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. If we helped you out in any way, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. We'll see you guys in the next videos.